Johannes Tollerop was a German mystic, a Catholic preacher and a theologian. A disciple of Meister Eckhart, he belonged to the Dominican order. Toller was known as one of the most important Rhineland mystics. He promoted a certain Neoplatonist dimension in the Dominican spirituality of his time, life. He was born about the year 1300 in Strasbourg, entered the Dominican order and was educated at the Dominican convent in that city. Meister Eckhart, who greatly influenced him, was active in Strasbourg c 1313-26, though it is unclear what relationship they may have had. From Strasbourg he went to the Dominican College of Cologne, and perhaps to St. James's College, Paris, ultimately returning to Strasbourg. In 1324 Strasbourg, along with other cities, was placed under a papal interdict, and so all Dominican friars left the city. Torlo went to Basel. The legend that he stayed in Strasbourg and continued to perform religious services for the people is probably due to the desire of the 16th century reformers to enroll the famous preachers of the Middle Ages among their forerunners. Around 1330 Toller began his preaching career in Strasbourg. The city contained eight convents of Dominican nuns and perhaps 70 smaller beginner communities. It seems likely that much of his preaching was directed to holy women. Most of Toller's nearly 80 sermons seem to reflect a convent situation, although this may partly reflect the setting in which such sermons were most likely to be written down and preserved. In 1338 or 1339 the Dominicans were exiled from Strasbourg as a result of the tensions between Pope John XXII and Louis of Bavaria. Toller spent his exile in Basel. Here, he became acquainted with the circles of devout clergy and laity known as the Friends of God. Toller mentions the Friends of God often in his sermons. Evidence for further connections with this group is found in the letters exchanged between the secular priest Henry of Nordlingen and his spiritual friend, the Dominican nun Margaret Ebner. Through Henry, Toller also became acquainted with Mechthild of Magdeburg's flowing light of the Godhead. Toller worked with the Friends of God, and it was with them that he taught his belief that the state of the soul was affected more by a personal relationship with God than by external practices. In this way, he was more of a proselytizer than his counterpart, Eckhart. Toller returned to Strasbourg around 1343, but the following years brought various crises. Strasbourg experienced a devastating earthquake and fire in 1346. From late 1347 until 1349, the city was ravaged by the Black Death. It is said that when the city was deserted by all who could leave it, Toller remained at his post, encouraging his terror-stricken fellow citizens with sermons and personal visits. Toller traveled fairly extensively in the last two and a half decades of his life. He made several trips to Cologne. A number of his sermons were clearly delivered there, as indicated by their survival in the Cologne dialect of Middle High German. A credible tradition suggests he visited John Ruasbroek in Grainendal at some point in the 1350s. According to tradition, Toller died on 16 June 1361 in Strasbourg. He was buried in the Dominican church in Strasbourg with an incised gravestone that still survives in the Temple Neuf. The well-known story of Toller's conversion and discipline by the Friend of God from the Oberland cannot be regarded as historical sermons. Toller leaves no formal treatises, either in Latin or the vernacular. Rather, he leaves around 80 sermons. Toller's sermons began to be collected in his own lifetime. Three 14th century manuscripts date from around the time of Toller's return to Strasbourg after his exile in Basel. Toller's sermons were printed first in Leipzig in 1498, reprinted in 1508 at Augsburg. 
and then again with additions from Eckhart and others at Basel, at Halberstadt, at Cologne, and in Lisbon. A Latin translation was printed first at Cologne in 1548 and 1553. In the 19th century, editions were produced by Julius Hamburger and Ferdinand Vetter. Taller was famous for his sermons, which were considered among the noblest in the German language, not as emotional as Henry Suso's nor as speculative as Eckhart's, but rather intensely practical, and touching on all sides the deeper problems of the moral and spiritual life. Taller was one of several notable Christian Universalists in the Middle Ages, along with the Malric of Benna, John of Roisbroek, and Julian of Norwich. He taught that, all beings exist through the same birth as the sun, and therefore shall they all come again to their original, that is, God the Father, modern editions. There are various foreign language editions of the sermons. Ferdinand Vetter, Die Predigt en Torles, is based on only a few manuscripts and does not adhere to the proper liturgical order of the sermons. It lists a few variant readings, but lacks an apparatus of sources. Several of its sermons are not authentic. A complete French translation exists as E. Hugony, G. The Reinal Corin, Sermons de Tola, Traduction Fight sur les plus anciens MSS, Allemands, 3 vols, Georg Hoffmann, Johannes Tola, Predict N, provides a helpful German version, but not a critical version of the Middle High German text. Johannes Tauler, De Preken, a complete Dutch translation by Peter Freens, Tauler Preken. Nl. A good English translation of Tauler's sermons is lacking. Spiritual Conferences by Johann Tauler, Op. Transeros College and Sister Mary Jane, Op. Contains a rather loose translation of sermons and excerpts of sermons from Vetter. It rearranges that according to theological headings rather than keeping the order of the sermons themselves. Johannes Tauler, Sermons, translation by Maria Schrady, introduction by Joseph Schmidt, translates 23 sermons, but from the modern German edition of Hoffmann, not directly from the Middle High German. The version also contains various omissions and errors, and lacks notes. Older English translations of Tauler include various inauthentic pieces, and were often made from the Latin version of Laurentius Shorius. They are therefore problematic. These include Catherine Winkworth, History and Life of the Reverend Dr. John Tauler with 25 of his sermons. Available at http colon slash slash www.ccel.org slash chel slash wink with slash taller closing square bracket. Meditations on the Life and Passion of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Translated by APJ Cruikshank. Available at http colon slash slash www.ccel.org slash chel slash taller slash meditations closing square bracket. The Following of Christ, translated by Junior Morell, available at http colon slash slash www.ccel.org slash chel slash taller slash following closing square bracket. The Inner Way, being 36 sermons for festivals by John Tuller, translated from the German, with introduction, by Arthur Wollaston Hutton. Available at http colon slash slash www.ccel.org slash chel slash taller slash inner underscore way closing square bracket.